Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, we've got a beautiful day going here today. I'm going to get a lot of solar power, that's for sure. It's pretty toasty. Anyway, thinking about all of you out in Florida, know a lot of you friends that watch this channel and participate in the channel and you've been watching the skies and the storm on today is getting close to you hoping you're prepared and gonna dedicate this video to how to prepare for the coming storm no matter where you live Cause it's coming. So in today's video, we're going to imagine that where you live, the storm has hit, you've lost power, you prepared as you saw the storm approaching that this might be a possibility. You got a battery fully charged in this demonstration which will be a follow-up and a test of how long this particular ogrophy lithium iron phosphate battery, 12 volt, 200 amp hours. We're gonna plug it in and see how long it lasts to run some essentials. You've also got a little backup induction cooktop so you may cook the food that you have stored. And we will assume that as you saw the storm approaching <clears throat> before the long lines and empty shelves started happening, you got out there, you filled your refrigerator up, you got your battery charged up, and you're ready. So we're gonna hook this up. And we're going to tie it into a full-size refrigerator. This is that 20 cubic foot LG I've done reviews on. We will assume that you went out and filled this thing full, which this is. Because I always like to be prepared for any eventuality. And hoping you did too, no matter where you are. So this is full. The power just went out. And now, all that food in there, we need to keep it good and be able to eat it and cook it. So, we're pretending now that the power, the grid you live on, is shut down, out of operation. And you're going to drag your fully charged battery in and hook it up. And we'll see how long that goes. So in a power outage, you can think of these batteries as your generator, but you do not need gas uh, or any other kind of maintenance. The only thing you will need to do is after depleting this battery is charge it back up, whether you're using some solar or if you absolutely have to use a generator to charge it back up. And maybe you even have a spare. So what I'm going to help you with understanding is just how long one of these will go. The main a crucial thing that most people are going to need in a power outage and where you don't know how long it's going to be is to keep your food uh, from spoiling. So here we go. And it took, we got the battery in place. We've got it connected to the positives, got a 50 amp breaker for safety. It took exactly two wrenches to hook this up. It took a number 10 and a number 13. The 13 fit on the battery terminals and the number 10 fit on the inverter connections as well as the fuse or breaker rather. So we're about ready to fire this up. Our power is off. The storm has hit. The aftermath is no power. So you've drug the battery into its place. 
or rolled it in on a skateboard or whatever you need to do to get it in place. These things are not that heavy, so it wasn't that difficult to, to slide it across the floor. It took me just a few minutes to hook up. And what I'm going to do is I put this uh, watt meter on it and this old uh, power bright 600 watt power inverter. That should be fine for running this refrigerator. This is a very uh, low uh, current refrigerator. It only draws between 50 and 70 watts usually while it's cycling. So very efficient, even when it kicks on into its defrost stage, the most I've ever seen is 200 watts. So we should be covered here. As far as I know, it doesn't do any radical surge uh, kicking that inverter compressor on. I've never caught one, so I think we're gonna be absolutely fine. So now what I wanna do is plug the, the refrigerator right here into this watt meter, and then we're gonna turn it on and I will reset uh, this meter to where the kilowatt hours are zeroed out. So at the end of this test, which I'm thinking will take a couple of days at least, hopefully, uh, as you know, I did this on a 100 amp battery before and I got near 24 hours and I didn't even drop, uh, drive the battery to zero. In this test, I'm gonna run this until the BMS cuts it off and we'll see how long that gets. I will start a stopwatch on it as well, so it will be very accurate and hopefully it happens uh, while I'm awake and watching it and not in the middle of the night. Okay, so uh, the refrigerator is plugged in. Let's fire up the inverter. Hopefully everything works right. I always get a little nervous when I reconfigure something, but it should be fine. Making a little bit of noise. We'll see if that goes away. It's a very old inverter. It's not drawing any power at the moment. It will when it kicks on. And I'm gonna reset this, all the values on the uh, watt meter here. Okay, couldn't get that power bright to work. It's a 15 year old inverter and it was not putting out the proper voltage. But this is an emergency situation, so we stay calm and then we reach for a backup. And what we've tied in is this very small 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. Let me get it around so you can see it by Best Tech. This thing has taken a beating. I've got a couple of them. We're gonna use this one as a backup because power is out in our mock situation here. And it's running the refrigerator, which is pulling 56.4 watts right now. And it just now turned on. And we're gonna go and start our timer right here. Clear it. Okay, we stay calm. We're in a storm outage situation, so there we go. Okay. <laughs> It's easy to get a little frustrated under the gun, but now we're gonna let this thing run until that 200 amp hour battery is completely drained of all available power. We've got the stopwatch running. We've got the watt meter on it. We'll get a a uh, good indication right there on the kilowatt hours used over this demonstration. And then we'll see if the battery lives up to its uh, specifications of what is available. So I fully anticipate this to take at least 48 hours. The power's only been off for 
20 minutes after the storm hit. So the refrigerator was fine. All the food in it's fine. You're stocked up. And now you're glad you've got a little backup generator, which that's what I fully consider these batteries as a backup generator. You're not having to wait in line for gas for your generator. You're not out there trying to get whatever is left on the shelves in the grocery store. You were stocked up because you saw the storm coming. You have a backup and even a little redundancy. So there it is, this 20 cubic foot refrigerator drawing 61 watts. This little teeny Best Tech, super affordable inverter, about 50 bucks, and there you go. The most I've ever seen, like I said, on this refrigerator here is uh, 200 watts when it's in the defrost mode, which it usually hits that once a day for about 20 minutes. So this little inverter should definitely hold up. Now you can relax turn on your radio, find out what's happening in your area. And when you're ready to eat, you're gonna have some food. Pretty happy with this. So that's how it goes sometimes. I fully anticipated to use that Power Bright. I've actually been using that for 15 years and then I haven't been using it for a while. So for whatever reason, it seems to be on its last legs but had a backup plan. And that's really the point of this whole video. We'll consider this a part one because I will come back and show you how the battery did, how long it lasted, how it worked 24 seven. We're gonna let this run, keep our food nice and cold. That's it, battery. hooked up with the best tech pure sine wave inverter to the battery it comes with a built-in fuse on that there it is clock running there we go 61 watts and let you know the ambient temperature in here today, a little warm, so it's, I expect this to run a little more often. It's about 82 degrees in the house, pretty warm day, so the refrigerator will run a little bit more, and depending where you are, like if you're in Florida and the power goes out, you know your refrigerator is gonna run on your backup system quite a bit. Just an alternative to firing up a gas generator. All right, everybody. Best of luck to everybody where that hurricane uh, is threatening now. Hope you guys are all ready for it, prepped up. It looks like it could be a mean one. And for everybody else, keep your eyes on the coming storms. Aloha.